Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend so far. Today guys, we're going to be jumping into VeChain and I've got some really good news to share with you in this video. I am super bullish on VeChain and I think from now to the end of the year is going to be pretty spectacular for not only VeChain but the overall crypto space. We're going to get into that because what I want to do in this video once we've gone over the more sort of immediate price action for VeChain, where it's going, is I want to get into sort of what I believe is going to happen um, from now until the end of the year. And I want to really refer to the Bitcoin four year cycle theory as we know the entire market just follows Bitcoin. So you can apply this to alts. You know, when Bitcoin went parabolic in 2017, altcoins went with it and 2013. And I believe that's going to happen uh, in 2021. And one thing that I really want to talk about, and we'll do it towards the end of the video, is you don't really get your parabolic uh, sort of uh, bull run till sort of September onwards. And we're going to talk about that in this video and what that could mean for VeChain. So right off the bat, guys, let's take a look at where VeChain is today. It's currently sat at 13 cents, down around about 4% on, on the daily and up around about 1.5% on the weekly. It only has a market cap of $8.4 trillion. Very, very undervalued for a uh, cryptocurrency that MasterCard and Alibaba uh, join VeChain backed blockchain alliance. You know, this is a project with some serious, serious partnerships. We've kept you up to date with the olive oil partnership, the Arizonan uh, farm partnership. You know, they're very, very embedded in China. They're partners with the Chinese government. You know, they're huge in the healthcare sector, which is one of the sectors that could benefit them, you know, significantly from the implementations of cryptocurrencies, especially there's a lot of record keeping and stuff like that associated with it. Um, so in regards to the, 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 the price, guys, you know, things look absolutely beautiful. To me, this is a cup and handle. Handle, and you're now breaking out of it, guys. Uh, this is a really, really textbook cup and handle. There's many cryptos out here that's all time highs around here and they're, and they're doing this kind of kind of larger scale. But VeChain's doing it on less server one. And this is really a trait of VeChain. I'm going to refer you to the kind of price roadmap that we have set out for VeChain. It's going to take us around about that $1 to $1.50 mark. I know that's kind of a wide um, range, but I'm really not sure. I imagine, you know, somewhere in the middle of that, around about $1.20. And I'm pretty confident it's going to get there. And I'm, I'm going to talk to you about why that is uh, in just a second. So we have this cup and handle forming. This is a similar trait. You know, if you look at how we started our one wave, you know, this was obviously the uh, March 2020 dump, which saw the market sell off really severely. Um, you can see from there, guys, you know, this was a cup and handle of sorts before continuation. Before continuation. And that's exactly where you are today, ladies and gentlemen. And the good news is um, that in regards to where you are on your fifth wave, you're here. And you still have this to come, guys. You've still got a lot of upside to come. I, I believe VeChain is going to be at its all-time highs within a month or so. I don't even think it's going to take that long. I just like to give a little bit of time. And that's a trade I'm personally taking. Um, and ultimately, you know, this is this is what we're setting out for VeChain. And the upside target to that head and shoulders very quickly. Um, if we go from the neckline, uh, the, the start of the cup to the where it breaks. You're looking at a potential, a potential upside that's going to take you right near to your prior all-time highs, guys. And that's really what we're expecting. You know, this is on the cards for VeChain. I mean, it's, it's you can't really deny uh, that that, you know, looks very much like your cup and handle. Can you see that, guys? Lots of similar char characteristics. Can you see this? Even this bit here. You come up, you play around before continuation. And this is really what we're expecting for VeChain. Now, VeChain is a laggard. It lags behind the market. Like I said, there's many projects out there that are essentially doing more of a, a macro head and, sh uh, not head and shoulders, cup and handle um, like that. Whereas VeChain is a laggard and tends to perform later. This is a good and bad thing, depending on how you want to look at it. And, and this is going to tie in nicely to the next segment that I want to take you to, which is, you know, what I believe is to come for the rest of the year, because I don't think VeChain is going to, top, I think VeChain is actually going to top out. One thing that we saw in 2017 was Bitcoin topped out significantly earlier um, than the altcoins. And that's just because altcoins lag behind Bitcoin. You know, that's the flow of money into the crypto Bitcoin, larger altcoins, and then smaller. And that's what you're seeing today uh, with something like VeChain. I mean, you've got a potential, um, reverse head and shoulders here for VeChain, you know, and, and ultimately there's lots of confirming factors that we think 
this is potentially a cup and handles and you're going to break to the upside. Um, when will that be? Now, if you look, if one thing that I want to point out to you, if you look typically, you know, you go through, after you've made this first leg up that we've made, you go through a little bit of a, uh, uh, a kind of corrective phase. This could be a lot shorter this time round on this wave uh, because, you know, think we're, we're kind of getting towards the end of the year. We're getting to that point where things are getting parabolic. Everything is setting up beautifully, guys, and we're still waiting for that bullish cross to take place here on the daily four V chain. We've had it on the four hourly. Um, and this is going to be a real confirming factor, guys. I'm super, super excited about this project. Like I say, the actual underlying project is amazing. Um, and, and, and you know, it's, it's, it's a real impressive project with a fantastic team. So in regards to what do I think the rest of the year is going to look like, let me talk about Bitcoin very, very quickly. Bitcoin is just moving up as well. Um, you know, it's essentially repeating this structure here. So you can add that on there. You know, this, this, this market is now, in an, it, it's in an uptrend, guys. Bitcoin led that and altcoins followed. Now, in regards to, to, to sort of what the, the, the rest of the year looks like, I'm going to switch it back to a logarithmic scale. You guys will know I follow something called the Bitcoin four-year cycle theory. We made plenty of uh, videos about 12 months ago when Bitcoin was well below its all-time highs saying, look, get ready for an epic bull run. The four-year cycle theory is about to repeat. The Bitcoin four-year cycle theory, for those of you who don't know what it is, essentially it takes that Bitcoin works in kind of peaks and troughs. Uh, and this is really centered around the halvening when the Bitcoin supply mining rewards get halved. Um, this causes a bit of a supply and demand shock um, because there's less Bitcoin and miners need to stay profitable. So there's a real price adjustment. And this is why we see these kind of bull runs uh, every four years. And we, we called this very early. And ultimately, guys, we believe you're only halfway through it. And one thing that is a, a trait within the kind of the, the, the bull run stage that we're in is it's not really till the second half of the year. Uh, that things start to get parabolic and more like you know the the, the fourth quarter of the year uh, if we take it off logarithmic scale you can really uh let me get rid of this squiggly line you can really see that that that, that is the case you know this was your first half of the year you have your first major sell-off before you then go into parabolic mania uh, and that's what we're expecting you know this year guys really um and we think bitcoin could top out within this year but i think altcoins are going to probably more than likely top out into the next year you know the cycles do tend to be lengthening in terms of when you kind of peak out you can see this was uh you know this the, the sell-offs even coordinated the first real sell-off you know this was may uh, through to um sort of the end of july uh, and then you know this was your first major sell-off and then look what happened towards the end of the year and you, you'll notice things didn't really kick off this is september here till september and that's kind of what we're expecting today guys uh, i mean ultimately you know and, and and one criticism of this um that is i think a very fair criticism is well it do, you know just because it's happened before doesn't mean it's going to happen again you're absolutely right there could be a catastrophic event that comes in in the way but ultimately it's played out to a t so far which gives me reason to believe that it's going to continue to play out i mean there is um market psychology at play here you know your wall street cheat sheet you guys know that markets are essentially driven by human beings human beings are emotional you know because it's money and, and money is such a valued thing in society today that they um th that they invest with um so ultimately what i'm trying to say here guys i think you're in for a very very spectacular end to this year and v chain looks absolutely great you know i'm personally in a trade um you know and i believe you're going to get to your all-time highs for v chain uh, within a month I think this whole market's really going to start getting moving. As we're coming into September, we're going to see, you know, projects just shoot up across the board. And you're yet to, uh, and this is a really confirming factor that VeChain is indeed a laggard, you're yet to break, um, uh, you're yet to form this kind of bullish cross on the um, weekly. Uh, I think you formed it on the daily. Yeah, you've just formed it on the daily, which is a bullish sign. You look here, guys, last time, this was your first little uh, dip out, and then you, you form this cross before you get continuation. And essentially, you know, I, I think you're in for a bloody good year, ladies and gentlemen. And one reason VeChain perhaps is a laggard is because it's not listed on that many exchanges. It's not on Coinbase, it's not on Kraken, it's not on things like eToro, Robinhood. Uh, it's not on any of these um, exchanges, which are big retail exchanges. So the money somewhat trickles, to, trickles into it. It doesn't benefit the same from these kind of impulsions like your Cardano's. Uh, your uh, Binance coins, et cetera, et cetera, uh, your Solanas, because they're kind of more widely listed on exchanges. Um, I do believe VeChain, I'm still digging to why VeChain aren't on Coinbase. Lots of mixed reviews, lots of people saying it's actually VeChain that aren't really bothered about it. But the thing is with VeChain is they're, you know, the exchanges are almost secondary to them because they're just working on partnerships, products. They don't really need to sell themselves. Their partners sell it for them. Uh, by the way, guys, those of you who aren't following me on Twitter, head over to at Real All in Crypto for some more timely updates. We, we'd be very sort of Cardano focused at the moment. 
Um, but ultimately, um, we, we will start posting more of a wide variety of cryptocurrency updates on there. So head over there, guys. And that is really all I have for you in this video. Just a quick update. We did say we were going to uh, update you more on VeChain, and we are indeed going to do so. We've not covered it for the past, I think, two days or so. So here you have it, guys. That's really all I have for you in this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to love and leave you on that note. If you found the content uh, informative or, or enjoyed watching it, a like is always appreciated. So is a comment, guys, and I'll see you in the next YouTube video. Very quickly before I go, from where you are now to your all-time highs is around about 110%. I mean, that is a pretty epic trade, and these kind of returns you will not get in any other market right now across the board. Um, don't get me wrong, there are a few sort of meme stocks, a few SPACs that potentially might perform in that sort of a manner, but to me, this is a very confident trade that I'm taking. Remember, guys, I am not a financial advisor, and nothing that I say or do on this channel is financial advice. This channel is just here for your entertainment and educational purposes only. That is all I have for you in the video, guys. We're still following the roadmap that we set out, um, and ultimately, we are exceptionally excited um, to see what happens uh, with the rest of the year, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, I will see you all in the next YouTube video. Have a fantastic Saturday.